Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha with Ice Cream Fitness here. And today I want to talk to you guys about setting reasonable time frames and being patient when it comes to your goals. But hold on, let me give you guys a bicep shot first. All right, I am talking about this because this is something that I had to remind myself of today when I was training this morning. Because knowing where I used to be personally, it's difficult for me sometimes to step back and accept that it is going to take me time to rebuild and be where I'm at. I really and truly, quite delusionally by the way, thought that I would be benching 400 pounds this year. I really and truly thought that, but that was really silly of me to think that because when I look back in retrospect, I've been training for one year and 11 months now. Next month will represent the two year mark of me starting training again. And I went from not being able to bench the empty bar after taking three years off from being sick. So that's a lot of progress. But originally, the first time I benched 405, I had been on drugs for a year and a half. And as a natural, I could rep 315. I could do three to five reps with 315 on the bench press before I touched anything. And a year and a half of using gear is what it took for me to get to 405. And people need to put that into perspective, that these goals take time. It doesn't matter whether you're natural or whether you're enhanced. It is going to take time to achieve your goals. It's going to take a lot of hard work. If you have any goals that are even remotely exceptional, it's going to take time. And you need to set reasonable time frames and expectations. And you need to ask yourself if you're willing to stick out that time in order to achieve your goals. Are you going to be willing to be consistent enough long enough? And I even get a lot of guys are always looking for shortcuts. They're always thinking that if they change something that they're going to gain three times as fast or twice as fast. And that's not always true. Sometimes these really good effective methods only speed your progress up 10 or 15% over what you were doing before. Unless what you were doing before was just horrifically bad. So it doesn't always mean that you're going to see dramatically faster results. If you don't think you can stick something out for the duration and in the long term, if you have goals that should take a fair amount of time, then maybe you need to step back and reevaluate what is important to you and, and set goals that are more realistic for you personally and what you're willing to actually do and the amount of work you're willing to do and how long you're willing to do it to get there. And it annoys me even, I get the guys who send me messages because I do do the gear talk stuff of, you know, what cycle can I do or two cycles can I do to reach my natural limit and then stop. Which just sounds completely moronic to me. I understand that they want a shortcut. And a lot of people would say, well, it's just an efficient shortcut since even you and others admit they're not that dangerous or not that big of a deal. Other than what you find the guys who do that they don't get to their natural limit and stay there they lose gains and you're setting yourself up for a psychological cycle not just a physical cycle here in the sense that yeah you might become dependent upon testosterone as a result of it and so anytime you use gear you need to be prepared for it to be a lifelong thing but people who do this and they take the gear shortcut to reach their natural limits and again it just sounds so moronic that I want to use drugs to reach my drug free and live it and stop there. But you will never look and feel the same way once you come off that you did when you were on the drugs. And a lot of guys will say, I'm going to do the one cycle or two cycles. Most guys who start, the vast majority say that. And it does turn into something that's going to last many, many years because what you're going to find is that you're going to regress so much. After you spend six months or nine months or ten months off, you're going to regress so much that eventually you're, you're either going to give up on your goals, which a lot do. I see plenty of guys do this. They have really solid goals. They'll follow them for a year, year and a half. They jump on a gear. They jump on a cycle or two, and then they get depressed after. 
for one, the PCT is depressing. Coming off is depressing, but that loss of progress to them when they realize that they will not be able to obtain and hold on to what they really want without the drugs, a lot of them give up training completely. And I've seen this happen multiple times. I've seen this happen to friends of mine. It's more common than you would think. They just give up on training. And so that's not really an effective shortcut. And you will always have that longing to go back on, particularly if you use something that gives you a look that is unobtainable and natural. And I'm not going to start with the fake natty thing today, but that's a lot of what I talk about. You cannot look the same way natural that you're capable of looking on certain drug combinations like Train and Masteron. And guys will go who want to do one or two cycles will go do that. And they'll do those at a very low body fat percentage. And when they go six months or a year without ever being able to obtain that look again, the vast majority of them go back home because they cannot look the same that they did when on that off of it no matter how hard they trained or how perfect they died. So a lot of times these shortcuts don't really pan out. So if you have goals that are naturally obtainable, I would recommend that you do it natural and you stick out the course. And if you require gear to obtain your goals, then do so responsibly. And no matter what your goals are, whether they are goals that you can obtain completely natural or whether these are goals that are going to require you to be enhanced, you need to be realistic about the time frame and the amount of work that you need to put in to obtain these goals and decide if you're really and truly worth it to you or if you need to set lesser goals. And in some cases, some people set their goals so low and they get so addicted to the training and the lifestyle and put so much effort into it that they surpass their goals and they have to set new ones and then they surpass those and set new ones and that happens also sometimes too. So that's also a case of someone not being realistic about the time frame of their goals. So all of that being said, what I would advise most of you to do is to sit down, figure out your goals, figure out what it's going to take for you to get there and come up with a reasonable time frame to do so. And don't get upset if you don't do it sooner than that. Because if you have goals that you know are going to take you three to five years, and if you don't reach them in one to two, you shouldn't be upset. That should have been expected. Plan for that ahead of time. And I know that for me, things that I thought I would be able to obtain by the end of this year, I've had to realize are probably going to take me probably another two years to obtain. And that's just being realistic about it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you next time.